Okay, when you wake up in the morning, do you suffer from back pain? Okay, a lot of times people say that it's your hip flexors that are too tight, which is often with a lot of people true. But what we're going to focus on is the inhibition of the ability to recruit your, your glutes, your butt muscles. Okay, so check this exercise out. If you wake up with low back pain, try this. I'm going to drive my big toe and try to make an arch in my foot. I'm going to keep this leg straight and I'm going to lift up, pinching this glute. I'm going to hold it for three seconds and then come back down. Hold it for three seconds and then come back down. All right. I'm going to do this as many times as I possibly can. And then I'm going to repeat on the other side. So one of the best things you can do is simply do say five reps on each leg with one leg, obviously we'll go up. Hold it for three seconds, go back down. Go up, hold it for three seconds, go back down. Really focus on really driving that toe and that heel into the ground. You see my fingers? I'm making that arch, okay, with my foot. I really wanna lock that glute in tight, okay? I'm going to relax my head. I don't wanna drive my shoulders up. This is a common problem. People do this out of, out of tension. Okay, so actually I'm going to slide my hands down. That'll make sure that my shoulder blades slide. Okay, and I'm gonna pull them back. Okay, and then now I'm gonna drive up and really focus on that squeeze and that glute. And then I'll come back down. Focus on that squeeze of that glute and then come back down. All right, now one thing that you can um, progress to naturally is more reps but also more height out of the hips, okay? This is, works a lot better than bilateral because you, you tend to kind of lose the effect out of the glute because you just kind of start getting into the rep motion. This allows you to really drive in hard with that glute and really get it firing. You'll be amazed if you wake up with low back pain how just doing that with no stretches will actually cause your back pain to go away almost instantly, okay? If you do do that and you still have back pain, then yes, you would progress into a hip, uh, hip stretcher, uh, a hip flexor stretch after that. Whew, can't talk today. And then you can go back and do some more glute exercises. Either way, they're both very, very beneficial and they need to be done for the vast population, okay? Hope this helps you out. Hope you stay pain-free. Go ahead and subscribe, like my channels, and stay tuned for more stuff.